I find the value of my participation in this uh, symposium, EEGES symposium, for me personally, the value is A, to come and learn about Dartmouth, because this is a storied place. This is one of the storied, most famous universities in the country. I've never been here before, so there's been a, a wonderful introduction to the community. I think for the university as a whole, I hope that this is actually the beginning of a tradition. I think that the exchanges that have occurred between the speakers and the students, between the students and, the, and themselves and the faculty here, could perhaps enrich the conversation that goes on at Dartmouth in a way that has never occurred before. And to me, one of the really marvelous things about that is although Just was obviously a person of the African diaspora, it's clear that the conversations that we've seen at this symposium are not ethnocentric in any way. They cross all sorts of boundaries of gender and race. And that's a conversation I think we Americans can genuinely benefit from in many, many venues. The, I think the value of E.E. E. Jest as a historical figure uh, can perhaps not be underestimated. In my own personal case, for example, I became aware of him uh, in my 20s uh, that there was this unusual person of the African diaspora who had lived in the early 1900s, who had somehow made his way from the South and ended up at one of the most famous colleges in the country, and then went on to pioneer a very personalized vision and of how to do science and how to interpret science. It turns out that science, although logic is a, like an enormous part of what we do, there is kind of a, a rash, in an irrational part of science where scientists, in fact, express their creativity in interpreting data and asking the right questions because, in fact, getting good answers often depends on asking right questions. And that turns out to be a rather irrational process because what, how do you know what is the right question to ask if you don't have enough data? And so here's a person of the African diaspora who's doing this process in his own way and leaving a legacy for anyone, not just a person, a person who's a minority in society, but for any individual who wishes to become a scientist to understand what it is to have your own personal engagement in the science that you do.